All right, sweetheart, start the vlog. You wanna show everyone your corona haircut? Huh? Wanna start the vlog? Show everyone your eyelashes. Hey, no foul language though, okay? No bad words. Where's Peter? Do you, know, do you know where Peter is? Look at those paws. Hey, I like your hairstyle. You wanna tell everyone happy Friday? Listen, I'm gonna sit down to film right now and I know you're gonna interrupt me, so just get it all out of your system. Can you do that for mama? Hey, can you do that for me? Oh my God, look at that hair, that's nice. Do you feel pretty? I always feel pretty. <laughs> Hey you guys, happy Friday. It's about one o'clock. This is my shiny face. One o'clock, we're vlogging, it's Friday. Big plans, big corona plans this weekend. They involve staying home. They involve getting some work done. Maybe doing some cooking, get some Amazon packages, maybe, finally. Even though they've been in, in shipping for like a month and that's it. So I posted my breast implant illness video yesterday. I was freaking out. I think of all the videos I've posted and of all the feedback I've ever gotten, it's always those personal ones that you guys seem to enjoy the most. Uh, my divorce video is one of them. This one is another one. Anyway, so I wanted to give it a couple seconds to say thank you guys. Um, of all of my videos, you guys are always positive, you're always encouraging, you're always kind in the comments, but there are certain videos that really have a special place in my heart. This is one of them. It took me six, six months to film. I mean. It took me half of a year to film and to put it out there. I was nervous right before it went live. I woke up at 5.30. You guys know I post at 6.30 central time in the morning. And I woke up at 5.30 and I couldn't go back to sleep. I was just like watching the clock tick, 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 tick until 6.30 and it goes live. And I'm thinking like in the first maybe 15 minutes, there are already a bunch of comments, so it was very exciting. So I wanted to thank you guys for your support and for all the shares, um, that was awesome. I will be posting another video. I, I have this like momentum train. I feel like for the last couple of years, it just, I hit a wall when it came to finding a new routine. It was always something new coming up, something around the bend, something new, uh, whether it was health related or relationship related or kid related or pandemic related, there's always something. And I think I've just finally gotten to the frame of mind where yes, life is a juggle and you're gonna keep getting balls thrown at you. So it's up to you whether or not you include that, that ball into the juggle, you drop a couple balls or you drop all the balls, like what? You gotta decide, you know? So anyway, this weekend, we're staying home. Maybe you pick up some takeout, I don't know. Port local businesses, I would assume, as long as there's tacos involved. It's Friday, it's almost one o'clock, or it is one o'clock. I have to film a few videos for you guys. I have to do a wink, and I wanna do sort of like a happy hour or girls night out Q&A style. I don't know if I'll do that or how I've decided to do it. I want to do a video where I talk about my favorite YouTube channels. I think it's important right now that some of us have a lot of free time. It's also a great way to, you know, be kind to other influencers and show them some recognition if you enjoy their content. Saturday, Sunday, we don't have the kids this weekend, none of the kids, so uh, that'll be interesting. It'll be just like a hard, intense 48 hours with just me and the pee, but it'll be cool. I think I'm getting some Amazon packages this weekend, but I'm not really sure. What I am sure of is I got my Thrive Market order yesterday, which arrived just in time to allow them to sponsor a portion of this vlog. So when I get up from here, I'm gonna show you what I got. It's been really cool though, because Thrive Market has this, um, initiative right now that they're running during the pandemic for COVID-19. Um, it's really awesome. They've raised over $400,000 in grocery stipends for families in need right now. So many people are displaced. So many people got furloughed from their jobs and nobody should be going hungry because of something like this. So I think it's really nice what they're doing. Um, I also think it's really nice that um, I got my order and there's pretzels in it. So, do you wanna see? So you know, like all of my sponsored content, the brand usually finds me based on me already being a user or believer in the product. Same thing happened with Thrive Market. I've been a member for, I would say four or five, maybe six years already. I pay for my own membership. Um, and it's something that I already believed in, but I didn't really see 
how much of an impact or benefit it has had on my home until now that we're going through this horrible global situation. Um, you know, not having the freedom to just go to a grocery store and restore your avocado oil stash or get snacks for the kids. It's been pretty challenging. And I don't mean not being able to do it because we can't afford it but not being able to do it because we need to be staying at home. And so um, what I really love about Thrive Market is just their moral integrity. The company as a whole, not only are they a brand that really helps facilitate making your home greener, making your uh, home more sustainable, you know, eco-conscious, and it makes it affordable for everyone. Um, I've mentioned before that they are also a philanthropic company. You know, they help veterans, they help teachers by giving out free memberships. But right now, what they're also doing is their COVID-19 relief fund. They've been able to raise over $400,000 in grocery stipends for families in need. Right now, so many people are getting furloughed. If companies don't have work, they can't pay their employees. So there's so many of us that are unemployed right now that really can't support our families. So not only are they continuing to help our teachers and veterans, but they're also helping those in need right now during this global crisis. If you guys wanted to check out Thrive Market, remember that it is a no strings attached membership. So you can subscribe to one month at a time for $9.95, or you could subscribe to the full year, which is the $59.95. I think when a company says, hey, listen, we're gonna give you a full refund if you can't get your bang for your buck. That's really saying something, you know? I signed up a couple of years ago. I've never regretted it. I have that auto draft on my account, so it just automatically renews. And I think uh, one of the coolest things that Thrive Market is also doing is they're incentivizing this. So if you wanna check it out and you're curious to try it, I will leave a link in the description box below. They're gonna give you guys a free $20 credit. All the details will be listed in the description box below. Don't forget that when you're shopping Thrive Market, you are making better choices for your family, but it doesn't have to break the bank. Y'all, how hard is it to find organic, paleo, keto, gluten-free items at the grocery store? I would go in and I just stare at the wall and be like, how do I know what tastes good? How do I know what I would like? How do I know what my family would like? And so being able to do it digitally or online and read the reviews at the same time, it kind of gives you like a boost of confidence. Plus when it's 25 to 50% cheaper than like local retailers, that makes me feel so much better. So onto the haul. I actually got these on a whim when I hauled um, two hauls ago. I don't think I showed the two. I think I just showed the one, but when I tried these, I was like, it's worth a shot. I mean, my eight-year-old's obsessed with pretzels. The girls are pretty good with all kinds of pretzels, so I think I'm just gonna put them in the pantry and see if they'll eat them. You know who ate them? I did. They are so good. If you guys like crunchy things, but you know how sometimes pretzels are powdery? These are crunchy, but they clean your palate. They're not crunchy and lingery, so. The other day, y'all, it's stressful times, okay? The other day, I cried because I ran out of avocado oil and I could not bring myself to go to Costco just for avocado oil. It's not worth the risk, you know? And I was like, why am I tripping? Thrive Market has avocado oil and they have like four different brands that carry it. So I got Primal's Kitchen, Primal Kitchen avocado oil and then I also got a backup of my Chosen Foods avocado spray. Um, ton of brands have it in the spray form. This is my favorite. I love how it comes out, the spray, cause it's kind of like a, it comes out like a fan, almost like a thick spray, not like a squirt. So it's very satisfying. So I restored or I replenished my avocado oil. It's, it's all I use. I don't use olive oil. I don't use any kind of oil. If there's other oils in this house, they're Parker's for his cast iron. But for me, it's avocado for everything. Salad dressings, frying, sauteing, everything. Avocado oil. Y'all know my love affair with this collagen. You guys ask me what I do to keep my hair growing so fast. Um, I take biotin and I put collagen in my coffee every morning. This is my favorite. I love the flavor. It is sweet. So if you have sweetener for your coffee, you can substitute it out or you can make it extra sweet. 
I use a, a scoop in my coffee once a day, that's it. Um, then I got these for Parker. Um, I wanted to find him sort of like an RX bar. Um, and so when I Googled RX bar type bars, this is one of the ones that came up. And this is an egg white um, and nut bar. So I think he might like these. They come in several different flavors, um, but he does love pecans. You guys, pecans, his parents have so many pecan trees. His whole childhood was pecans. So I think he's really gonna like those. I'll have to update you on what he thinks. Then I replenished two sauces. You guys saw me discover my love for this in one of the vlogs. This is the best ranch dressing I've ever had. The best ranch dressing I've ever had. And I know how to make it from scratch. This is better, you guys. Holy cow, it is delicious. So if you ever see this, if you subscribe to Thrive Market, you need to order it. And then this is a barbecue sauce that I got a couple of um, orders ago and I really liked it. I actually got three different brands of barbecue sauces and this was the winner. I really love this one. It just, I think I, I think I should just write a love letter to Tessemes. Like they, they figured out sauces. <laughs> Um, and then we have uh, stuff that are replenishments that you have seen before. The first one is the stain remover. This stuff is brilliant. This is great for whites. This removes blood stains. This, y'all, that sounded like it was an episode of like Forensic Files or Snapped. <laughs> if you guys are fans of those shows, no, I'm just kidding. Um, we have dogs and kids. You guys, my son fell down the other day off of his scooter and he got one of those skinned knees but it was like this big. And so there may have been stains on shorts and pants and when he cried to me and then I had to pick him up and then it was on my pants. Anyway, the point is Parker's job, dogs, we have stains. This stuff is brilliant. It is so good, it works amazing. It has a little brush at the top. You see that little? So you squeeze really hard and the gel comes out through here and then you rub. Um, love this thing. In the other haul, I also got the um, Molly's stick. It's like a waxy stick. If you use them together, stains that have been on your clothes for like 15 years come off. Don't tell the brands that I, I used them together. Um, then <laughs> we replenished um, our dishwashing stash. This is what I use as a rinse aid. Um, and then these are the tablets that I use for my dishwasher. I was a, I was a, I wasn't a believer in these. I didn't think these could do a good job. I'm like. <laughs> Really? I'm gonna put these um, plant-based biodegradable, non-toxic tablets and they're gonna clean the grease off of my cooking. <laughs> yeah, right. I have repurchased, this is my most repurchased item after this. So, two of my favorites. I feel like I need to do a Thrive Market must-haves video. Um, this is um, a whitening or brightening that I uh, replenish. This is Nelly's. Oh, you know what? The crayon that I was talking to you about, the crayon that I use uh, together with this is Nelly's brand. It's not Molly's brand. So Nelly's Oxygen Brightener and Molly's Suds Brightener are my two favorites. But I use one up and then I start using the other thinking that I'm going to notice a difference on which one I like better. And then I just lose track. I just use them up, I love them, but it's almost like a seamless use. So I couldn't, you guys will have to tell me, if you've used Nelly's and you've used Molly's, which brightener do you like more? I kinda can't decide, and so I just keep repurchasing both of them. Like whichever I see first is the one I'll add to my cart. And you guys know, in this house, besides laughing, the thing we do the most in eating is laundry. Oh my God. I do laundry two to three times a week. Otherwise it piles up and I just can't catch up. So um, we're kind of laundry experts over here. I don't know if that's something worth bragging about. <laughs> we also got booty wipes. Y'all, do you know how hard it is to find booty wipes right now? Very hard, but Thrive Market has my back. These we've never tried before. The brand is called Stallmates. They're unscented flushable wipes. They are biodegradable, but I do have to say, I purchase flushable wipes, but I very rarely flush them. Something in my gut tells me it's not right. So unless it's very disturbing, 
I don't flush. I put it in the garbage can. You know what I'm saying? So I got these. Parker's a huge fan of wipes. My boys still use wipes. Um, I don't know. I just, nothing compares to the cleanliness you feel after using the potty, you know? So I got two of those. I'll have to report back because I've never used that brand before. And then the last thing I got, judgment-free zone, okay, guys? I got this um, supplement. It is called Ignatia Amara. Doesn't it sound like a hocus pocus? Like a like a Hogwarts spell? Um, Ignatia Amara. This is a homeopathic um, supplement that is supposed to relieve nervousness due to stress. So it's a stress relieving supplement. Amazing reviews. And I actually used a supplement from this brand already that looked exactly like this. Um, after my, gosh, which surgery was it? I think it was my cesarean for my second son. Um, I used the Arnica Forte for under my tongue um, from this brand and it was magic, you guys. So this could not have arrived at better time given uh, the circumstances we're under and how stressful it is. And if you're not stressed, you are not pandemicking enough. <laughs> that's my soapbox for today. Anyway, that's all that was in my Thrive Market box. So if you guys have heard me talk about Thrive Market before and you were on the fence, right now is probably the time to take the plunge. So I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys to sign up. There is a $20 credit if you guys use that link. Um, it is no strings attached. You guys try it out. If it doesn't work out for you, call them and be like, hey, listen, I can't join the Thrive Market crew, can I have my money back? And they'll be like, all right, that's cool. No hard feelings. Um, times are hard right now. And if you can make your life easier by having flushable wipes and avocado oil sent to you to prevent another meltdown, do it for yourself. <laughs> if you can make your house a little more eco-conscious and, and green and friendlier, do it. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely been something that has given me a reason to smile about during this pandemic, you guys. So. I have to get to work. I really don't want to. And I'm kind of hungry and these pretzels are looking at me right now. So I don't know what kind of trouble I'm getting into, but if we get into anything exciting, y'all are coming along. Hey you guys, six o'clock. We are about to have dinner. Parker was super, super sexy and brought some cheeseburgers. So I got the ancho chili cheeseburger. I've shown this burger to you guys before. It has onion rings inside of it and pepper jack. We went to, we went there for my birthday, right? With the girls? Um, it was somebody's birthday. Yeah, yeah, it was my birthday because I asked him for cake. Do you remember? And he, he yeah. didn't think I was very funny, but he still gave it to me. <laughs> so we got burgers, but today's vlog is extra special because I think we're adding a segment to this vlog. At least while we're under quarantine, I think we need to have bartender Parker have a feature in every one of these vlogs. Last weekend he made whiskey sours. This weekend he's gonna try his best to do ranch water. Texas ranch water? Or just ranch water? Texas. Texas ranch water, right? I don't know why it's been so popular on my Instagram lately and I'm like, that seems foolproof and refreshing and low calorie, so I think we should try it. So ranch water is, Texas ranch water is mineral water. It has to be Topo Chico, the brand. Mineral water from Monterrey, Mexico. It has to be tequila, fresh lime. You can add other things like tahini and stuff, but it's not legit. So lime, tequila, uh, Topo Chico, specifically Topo Chico. Um, so he's gonna try to make that later, and I'm really excited because it's Friday and we have nowhere to go. And if I get dr drunk like a baby gazelle, then it won't matter because I'm not driving. No, maybe. You know you've had a long, stressful week and you just wanna wind down and a cocktail sounds delicious and your fiance may or may not be really good at making cocktails? That's why I'm excited. So the restaurant actually gave us a free Capri Sun, which is exciting, but this is Parker's cheeseburger. He's very, um classic Americana when it comes to cheeseburgers. You know, like bacon, lettuce, no. Lettuce, tomato, mustard, mayo, blah, blah, blah. And then mine. Look at that doozy. How is that gonna fit in my mouth? Do you guys wanna know how you know you're cocktailing really hard? I should just show you. Um, apparently I'm engaged to the Hulk or 
He's just really good at making cocktails, like really excited about it, you wanna see? So if any of you guys um, live in Mexico and <laughs> wanna send me a replacement, <laughs> this thing is so old. I'm surprised it held up this long. It probably has lead. <laughs> You see a little stamp? Mexico. Parker got ahead of himself here. He's making cocktails he didn't tell me and then we missed like half of the process. How do you feel about yourself? You're in the zone? Hey, you know, my service is fast, you know. Mm. Oh. Come <laughs> on, do it again. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, so this happened. Luckily, I had this little backup thing. Cause you know, we can't just squeeze lines. Is that a Topo Chico appropriate glass? <clears throat> yes it is. And so we got the two ounces of- This is my favorite tequila, you guys. Tequila, one ounce of lime juice. We just shook it in the shaker with a little bit of ice. I thought it was half an ounce in. of lime juice. I mean, if it's so, one full ounce, I'm good. <laughs> this recipe is two to one. So okay. we have the lime juice and tequila in there. Okay. And now we top it off with the topo. <laughs> and with the sparkly. <laughs> you will stir. Does he stir it? He does, huh? He does like a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> Calm down. All, all it takes. And there you go. It looks pretty. It does. Let's try it. Let's see. That is uh, pretty oh no. good. Oh pretty no, good. are you sure? Yeah, it's like, uh, this is like what you want by the pool. It's very light and, very light and refreshing. Tang at the end. Yeah, this would get you in a little bit of trouble. I would go with like a very bold tequila though, so you can taste it. But this is good. You can taste the tequila, that's all you can taste. It, like you bring it to your mouth and it's like, your nose takes it. <clears throat> <laughs> that scowl. My girl expressions. <laughs> I could see how these get away from you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I'm just drinking some sparkling water. There's a lot of tequila in there, and I, I can barely pick it up, really. No, it tastes different to you. It's very tequila y. It's the Mexican genetics could pick up the tequila flavor. Oh, is that what it you is? Know? It's kind of like how we can eat more salsa. Is your heritage? Than your people. That's what it is? <laughs> my heritage. <laughs> I love using that. It's like, it's my heritage. Mm, it's good. It doesn't feel like you're drinking something naughty, though. Well, uh, what should we do to it? We could make it, uh. No, what I'm saying is, like, it's so good and, like, easy. Mm hmm. It could betray your love. You could slam it. It could turn me into a baby giraffe, yeah. you know? You don't want to be drinking when you're thirsty. <laughs> yeah, it's so refreshing. You're like, oh, let me... Uh, <laughs> keep a, keep oh. a bottle of water handy. We should put tahini in it. Do we have tahini? I think we do. Let's like use it all in cucumbers. You don't like this, huh? You guys want to know a secret? Mm. Parker doesn't like micheladas. I'm not a fan. This is a little too much going on. <laughs> oh, you know what we meant? forgot? The other recipe that I sent you had salt. That would probably really bring out the flavor. Well, there's a lot of, of salt in that, salt. isn't it? <laughs> Did I mess it up? Let me give it a No, no, don't stir it. Don't you're, stir it? You're supposed to be able to, it's supposed to come up with the drink. If you stir it, it's just going to sink. Oh. Is that the timer? That's the timer. Okay. Mm-hmm. I need salt. That's it. Mm. Try it. <laughs> no? You liked it before. You're a purist, though. Yeah, I am. I like the, I like the taste of tequila and yeah. the liquor. Okay, I'll drink that one. You make another one. You know it, what? I'm going to try... Either um, a little baby shaker. I'm going to try one with a different type of uh, tequila. Oh, that fancy one you have in there? Yep. You can't reach it. You're gonna need a step ladder. I, sure. I shoved it all the way to the back. Come on, we gotta taste this. 17 minute cocktails, you guys. It's a different color altogether. Like, we're not drinking the same thing. 
I'm not zooming into your drink. Even the camera's like, mm, what's going on here? Range water is white. Looks like a whiskey sour. It's pretty. Uh. Mm. It's pretty good too. <laughs> you look proud of yourself, like your Definitely. cocky face. <laughs> this is Parker's cocky face, you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doubting myself. It's like really, the lime is like really strong. Oh. Maybe you accidentally poured more. That's a little better. Let's so, not only are we cheese connoisseurs on this channel, now we're cocktail connoisseurs. What were we before? Taco? Taco mm -hmm. connoisseurs? Cheese board? Now cocktail. Oh, that one gives me the chills. That means I'm not going to drink anymore, you guys. Hmm. Oh yeah, that makes me feel some type of way. It's reminding me of bad choices. Mm. And yet I continue. How old is this tequila? I don't know. You had it when you met me, so at least two years old. <laughs> does it go bad? No. It doesn't go bad, does it? Mm -mm, it shouldn't. Unless it was like in the sun. No. We're good. Alright you guys, it's 7.30. I think this is a good time for me to say... Good night. Cause it's Friday and there's cocktails and Myrna's is anxious. We gotta say good night so that I don't have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we haven't decided yet. That's my the medication time. This is not working. Anyway, that's it. I love you. Hey, hey you guys, good morning. It's Saturday, almost eight o'clock. In the same robe I was wearing yesterday. Although, I do have to add, I just washed it, so it's kind of nice. Um, do you guys ever wake up and just know today's going to be a good day? Like, you're just convinced of it? I don't have any proof. Nothing in particular happened, but I'm like, man, today's going to be a good day. It's going to be a very good day. It's Saturday. It's a little chilly outside, but it looks like it's going to be very sunny and warm. So maybe we can take, like, Wesley and Marin for a walk. I know Wesley's been a little, mm, <sighs> diabetics, you guys. You never know when they're going to have a good day or a bad day. But luckily, Parker like talks me down because I'm always like, this is it! The Rona got him! He's like, mm, he's diabetic. He had a bad day yesterday. He needs a day or two to recover. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I like write it out and then he's fine. <laughs> but it's hard. I had this conversation with Sam yesterday. I'm like, man, having pets is, is nice, but you got to know what you sign up for entirely. You know, it's writing it out. And right now, three of my four are seniors. Well, I don't even know if Mern's a senior. She's seven. That's kind of senior for dog, right? Um, so <laughs> I need to start calling her Ernie. Mern is just stuck now, and that's one of her nicknames. Um, it's just, it's tough to see them get older and to struggle, and you know, they still try really hard. Like, the double still wakes up sometimes. He does little prancy pants, like he wants to play for like three seconds, and he's over it, and he sleeps for 12 hours. Also, huge favor, you guys. Okay, so uh, Parker has had, what's that? It's your Moby Dick, right? Moby Dick is like that thing that you can't. Uh, your nemesis? Yeah, so Parker's Moby Dick is pajamas, you guys. Men's pajamas, since we met. It's been his thing. Like, he cannot find pajamas he likes. I bought him these really fancy pajamas um, from Nordstrom, and they worked out for a little bit, but they're just still not his. They're just not the ones, you know? Well, they're going to be comfortable sleeping. That's the thing. That's what I have trouble with. So, he likes them. He wears them. They're loungy and comfortable, but at the moment of sleeping, he has trouble. Now, this is another thing, though, that works against him. He's a very hot-natured human, so... For me, I could sleep in like 72, 73 in the house. If the house isn't 68 or lower for him, he's like miserable, like visibly miserable, like sweating, he's just completely uncomfortable. So it has to be something that doesn't make him hot. Marin agrees. So it has to be something that doesn't make him hot, something that is comfortable. Uh, do you prefer shorts or pants? Shorts. Shorts. Sweat wicking material? Just no, because that's just hot. Well, it's, it's hard because if you get 
the sweat wicking is usually stretchy, and if they stretchy, they like wrap around you, mm -hmm. you know, and twist and turn. It's just I don't know. his uh, youngest daughter is the same way. She's like, I can't have pants. I can't have this, and then it tangles, and then I do this, and then I have to get under the fan. You know, it's very particular. And if you're not comfortable at the moment of sleeping, like, what are you doing? It's a half of your life. So we are on a hunt for perfect pajamas. So if you guys have a partner, a spouse, a husband, a roommate, um, someone you're trying to get rid of that lives within your house that knows about awesome men's pajamas, let us know in the comments. A link is preferred. It could be affiliate. <laughs> so let us know, because um, that's what we're trying to do right now. It would really help. But that's the status of our morning. I know it's, it's exciting. I know it's, it's riveting content right now. We're filling out our senses and we're pajama shopping. Oh, and by the way, the best banana nut muffins were finally in stock yesterday. Thank you, Kroger, finally. Um, and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm hoping at some point I can convince Parker to build me a squirrel park bench. We don't need to talk about it right now, but it's important. Um, and then the other update is, I'm sorry, but Texas Ranch water is just, it just wasn't it. I know. And we were like, oh, let me add some simple syrup. Oh, just, just pinch of orange juice or maybe and then it's like well you're now you're doing like a tequila sunrise or now you're doing it's just not the same thing so um it wasn't just it wasn't my thing it's like it's a drink that someone that likes gin and tonic it's a drink that someone that likes uh vodka soda would probably enjoy I like mine with a little bit more layers in it I'm being I'm 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 texting so bad right now. I did this game called Texas Bingo where you're supposed to say like how much of a Texan you are. I've been here for nine years maybe, maybe 10, I don't remember. Um, and out of like the 20 squares, I filled out like two. It was embarrassing. We have to go to the river walk by the way. <laughs> and maybe the Alamo. River walk's awesome. <laughs> sitting outside in the garage, participating, helping in the creation. Uh, is that safe? Do you want me to hold it? No, I just gotta figure it out. It's just, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without a table saw. We're gonna be on an episode of like, what happens with power tools when you're not safe. Living without fingers. Oh, hi Parker. It's not worth it for a squirrel to have a bench. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> So a couple weeks ago, I saw a post on Facebook about this man that built a little wooden park bench, I mean a little one, for his fence so that his squirrels could sit and enjoy their lunch. <laughs> and naturally, being the animal lover that I am and the mini lover that I am, I screenshot it and I texted to Parker and I was like, can we make this? <laughs> And Parker, being Parker, was like, okay. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now because quarantine life. We're having this dilemma where we're starting to get a little frustrated. It's like, what do you want to do today? Let's go. Oh, how about we? Oh, can we? Oh, I can't really do anything. And we naturally, innately, organically want to be productive. That's just how the two of us are wired. And so you don't always want to like organize every weekend or like fix stuff every weekend or like rearrange furniture every weekend. You want to go out and do something different, but we can't. We're trying to be safe y'all, but we're getting a little, a lot of cabin fever. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I'm giving Sophia hairstyles. So she doesn't seem to mind though. Look at that ponytail. It's like, yeah, look at my ponytail. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, that is nice. It's like a little palm tree. Do you like her palm tree? Parker, do you like her palm tree? Does she look pretty? Very cute. <laughs> she <laughs> smiled! 
She's she a went. Pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. <laughs> Are you pretty? <laughs> Are you handsome? Are you handsome? This man's brain, his talent. All I said was, hey, I would like a bench for the neighborhood squirrels. I showed him a picture. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I kind of don't want to put it outside. <laughs> put it in the house. Isn't that cute? It's like a little cute, like, what do you see that? Like when you go visit a, um, I don't know, you're on vacation, you visit a new town, and you bring like a little home decor thing home. Isn't that adorable? And I think our neighborhood is old enough now where there's enough squirrels to actually enjoy it. But it was so hilarious, the whole process. He's like in the zone. Like, I don't know if your significant other is that kind of personality where Parker concentrates, he's in the zone. Like he'll barely exchange like one or two word answers if you're trying to talk to him. And then he looks up, I mean, he's like, I should probably sand it so they don't get a splinter and then sue us. <laughs> And it's that like perfect timing, witty personality where he's concentrating, you don't expect it to be funny, and then you're like, oh, and then they show you this. So I'm thinking. So our trees are pretty young. You can see they're not very big, um, but I was thinking we could put it like on the chubby part of the trunk. So when they climb up the tree, they can actually sit on it and enjoy like their nuts or their seeds or whatever we put on the bench for them. Um, the original post has the bench screwed onto the edge of the fence, but we don't have any trees around our fences. So I don't think it would work. Maybe some birds would land on it or something, but other than that, I think the best place would be right there where kind of the branches start to split off, but putting it facing the side of the house. So one, the HOA doesn't see it because they're ruthless in this neighborhood. And two, so that we can enjoy them from our windows on the inside of the house. So I'm thinking right there, um, I'll have to talk to Parker because he has, he has all the good ideas, but I'm thinking right there in between those two splitting off branches. <laughs> you guys this is squirrel cam 2.0 now all we gotta do is wait I'm pretty sure all we're gonna get right now is birds but how cute is that and we have a view from all sides of the house I'm so excited hello neighbor so if you guys are on match or bumble make sure you write in your description or your bio that you need a man that knows how to build a squirrel park bench hey you guys Three o'clock. I'm here with just two announcements. One, I have successfully showered today. My hair air dried kind of cute. And two, it's been four hours since we've uh, put out the squirrel park bench and we have no takers. No birds, no squirrels, no worms, <laughs> not a bite, but I'm hopeful.
It's only been four hours, okay? It's pretty windy. Maybe they're nervous. Maybe they think it's a trap. They just need to know we love them. Parker even went out there. Not only did we put sunflower seeds, but he also put a smear of peanut butter. So we're hopeful. Listen, if you have hope, you have everything, okay? Still no takers. Like the birds haven't even... <laughs> Are you creepy? Is that you? I thought you, I thought you said you saw a squirrel. No. <laughs> no, I said you put a little spe smear of peanut butter. Um, yeah, it's the first, it's the first, it's the first couple hours, you know, it's, it's windy, it's spring. They're probably out with their friends since they don't need a social distance. Um, but the seeds are, no, nothing has even moved. So it's not like they don't like it. <laughs> that would hurt my feelings. I just don't think they know it's there, but it's so cute. You guys, I can't stop looking at it. It was really hard for me to have Parker put it out there. I kind of wanted to put it in my house. <laughs> In the kitchen I was like can we put it in the kitchen like to hold the salt and pepper grinders <laughs> something cute but no mm -mm. we haven't done much anything today Parker uh, installed a new electrical uh, receptacle in the garage he was very excited about that I'm, oh, I'm pretty sure he got upset that I didn't get very excited <laughs> but that's it we haven't done anything else I know I'm gonna have a lot of work to do tomorrow since today's a lazy day. I very rarely have days like this where I don't have the motivation and I'm actually able to entertain that. So I'm kind of milking it a little bit. Um, I think the biggest chore for me today is gonna to be figuring out dinner. I did have to reorganize a couple of dresser drawers for my youngest son, but that doesn't sound very interesting. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like if I don't do it today, something bad will happen. So we're just gonna, just gonna put a pin in it and keep watching the, the squirrel bench. You guys wanna see it again, just for kicks? There it is, there's the little bench. Does it not look like the perfect bench, but in tiny form? It's like all my favorite things wrapped into one. Furniture, wood, tiny animals. Just put a cheeseburger on there and it's like, it's like the holy trinity. Oh wait, that means three. Whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> Guys, it's eight o'clock. I come bearing terrible news. The squirrel park bench has been out since 11 o'clock. So it's a total of nine hours and still no action. No action from birds, no action from squirrels. No action from worms. It's time for bed now. It's time for bed for the dog. It's time for bed. I'm pretty sure all the squirrels are in bed now. So all I wanted to do was check in, tell you I ate enchiladas for dinner. And as cute as Saturday has been, it's not going to end very cute. So tomorrow, you better believe we're going to continue the search for the use of the squirrel bench. And with that, good night. <laughs> hey you guys, happy Sunday. It is 11.15. I just got out of the shower. Just kidding, about maybe two hours ago because I still have to curl my hair. That usually takes a pro You know, listen, when you have this much hair, it can, take, it can take a while to curl it. So when you go from having two and a half baby hairs to having a full four strands of hair, it's a challenge. You know, it's, it's first world problems. But this is my life now. Now I look like a bobblehead with this much hair. I was complaining about it to one of you guys in the comments of my recent empties video. She was telling me um, that she just had some treatments done, like some medical treatments um, to help her. She was getting better and that she loved to see how her hair was changing. Like it went from suffering and now it's going back and it's improving and she's like, oh my God, it's like super exciting. I was like, I know. Me with taking biotin and my collagen and then having my explant and you know, seeing those kind of bald spots that I had going away and filling up. And now that my hair is really long since I haven't been able to cut it, I miss you, Katie. <laughs> Y'all, if you're in Dallas, Abstract Studio, best stylist ever. Anyway, I was telling her, oh, I know my hair's so long. Now it's so hard to take care of because there's so much of it. 
you know, there's always something to complain about. <laughs> anyway, two things. I'm actually getting ready to film. I have to film um, my YouTuber recommendations, or rather, not necessarily my recommendations as much as it is my favorites. Like when I open my app, who do I look for? Who did I unsubscribe and resubscribe to just in case they were being shadow banned kind of thing? You know, like which are my go-to channels? So that's the video I wanna to film today. I also wanna film a Q&A for a girls' night video next weekend that I'm gonna post. So you'll actually see this after that video is live. So that video will be linked down below. Um, and then I also wanna do a get ready with me. Y'all, I've been watching Wentworth I think I'm on season two or three, and I need to do a smoky eye like Frankie. Like Frankie has nailed the smudgy, grungy smoky eye, which I could never pull off because there's way too much real estate here and it would just look like a, like a raccoon. But I definitely want to do a dark smoky eye. It's Sunday, I have nowhere to go. I'm wearing my $8 Target tank top, but I want to do a dark smoky eye, so I think being that we're in this, you know, self-imprisonment corona life, uh, it's safe to say if you want to do a black smoky eye at 11 o'clock in the morning, you can do that. The other update I wanted to tell you guys is that it's been 12 hours since we put out our squirrel park bench and still no takers. But I feel good about today, you guys. <laughs> I'm staying positive and I feel good about today that we're gonna have some takers. This morning I woke up and I was like, Parker, they didn't even lick the peanut butter. What happened? I'm talking about the squirrel park oh, bench. Squirrel. Yeah, and I was like, look, it's Sunday. At this point, I don't care if it's a raccoon, I don't care if it's a rat, an opossum. I want, a, I want an animal there. I want an animal's little butt to sit on my bench. It's Sunday, I feel good about it. Here's the other thing. The last update before I go upstairs to do a smoky eye at 11 o'clock on a Sunday. If you are on the market to find a significant other or a spouse, make sure that you find someone like Parker that um, goes to the store and gets like 12 different body washes for you. <laughs> so, anyways, so if you're doing like your Bumble profile, just on your bio, since you only have like 120 characters, just put, will shop my shopping list. So this morning I woke up and I was like, oh shoot, Parker, I forgot to answer my empties video comments. Let me sit down with my hot cup of coffee while you browse your computer. See, he's, his computer's right there. I was sitting here at my little school table um, and I was replying to your comments. And then going through your comments, I realized your comments aren't just sweet, but they're actually super helpful. And I started to see this commonality of your comments of try this body wash, try this body wash, try this body wash, try this body wash. And I was like, hey Parker, what do you think about if on this long journey of me spiting caress and wanting to replace my evenly gorgeous body wash, what if I do a video where I try my subscriber's body wash? Like that'll be the video. I tried my subscriber's body wash and then not only will it be fun because I'm trying your recommendations, but it may be the light of the end of the tunnel, the forgiveness that I've been looking for to forgive Caress. <laughs> you guys, I'm easy to forgive. Very easy. I forgive very easy. I, I shouldn't. I forgive very easily. But when it comes down to panty liners, Caress Evenly Gorgeous, the ending of Dexter, and now killing off B. Smith on Wentworth, those are some grudges that I don't mind holding on to, okay? <laughs> so I went through the comments, I replied to all of them, and then I searched the most commonly recommended body washes, as long as they were drugstore. Here is the wrench. Not all of them are cruelty free, so I will make sure in that video to say which ones are and which ones aren't, so that if you're strictly cruelty free, you don't have to break the rules. But let me show you guys what Parker found. I told them, I was like, just here are some suggestions since he had to go to the store to get chicken for his lunches. I was like, here's some suggestions. I only need like five or six of them maybe. Pretty sure he found all of them. Did you find all of them, baby? Every single one. <laughs> So here's a sneak peek at a video that we have coming, but it's gonna take a while because I think 
I should probably use each one for at least two weeks so that I can have some honest feedback. I did some sniffing already and some of these, you guys, these two here smell like, oh my gosh, they are amazing. So these were your top recommendations for drugstore body washes and Parker went to Target, I think, to get these. Well, Target, Target at Walmart, okay, he did two trips. Walmart so, Walmart's the winner? Yeah, Walmart had a better selection. Why are you so cute? What do I need to do in exchange for all these body washes? Uh, I'll make a list. <laughs> so, look at Sophia. Hey, Mama, did you go to Walmart too? Let me see your ponytail. Oh, that's nice. A ver, enséñame tu carita. Ven. A ver. Ay, qué cara tan bonita tienes. <laughs> qué cosa tan perfecta. Oh, all right. Do you want to see the body washes too? You're ready to go, aren't you? She has her, her hair curled. Do you want to go put on your makeup? So you're ready for your intro? She's like, I've been ready, let's go. <laughs> okay, so here's a sneak peek. These are the ones that were on the list. These were the ones that you guys recommended the most. But that's it. So by now, and now it's 11.30, um, I'm going upstairs to do a get ready with me. Um, my favorite YouTubers. Um, I had four videos I wanted to film and I keep saying them again in my head and then I, and then I forget. I should probably actually do them instead of just talking about them so I'll actually get it done. I'll check in later. Um, we are just gonna be home today. Parker is gonna help me by staying busy. Um, he's gonna make his lunches and I think he has some um, handy work he needs to do in the garage. Um, but I definitely will check in later, update you guys on what we're doing, what we eat, um, and if we got a hit on the park bench. I'm trying to stay positive, okay? So, Maybe if you don't hear me talk about it again, don't ask. Just don't, don't ask until, until I'm ready to talk about it, okay? I love you. <laughs> hey you guys, a little bit after two. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we haven't gone out in almost two months. We're under lockdown or whatever, and I wanted to do a smoky eye. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is what we got going on. A little bit of highlighter. It's two o'clock, okay? It's two o'clock on a Sunday. I have nowhere to go. I'm wearing a Guns N' Roses shirt, a headband, and as much black eyeshadow as I could pack onto my face. The only reason I'm not wearing lip color right now is because Parker was so sweet and he went to Wendy's and got me a salad. And I ate a salad, and as much as I would like to eat salad like the Kardashians where they don't ruin their lip gloss, I can't do it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, can't figure it out the way they eat. It's just, sorry. I'm vlogging this weekend and I haven't checked in with my pandas. However, I don't know if checking in, looking like this is what you guys expected. <laughs> It's a really dramatic makeup look and going from not doing any makeup to doing all of this just to wash it down the drain in a few hours. <laughs> but that's it, that's all, that's all I got. In today's Drunk Kitchen with Danny, it's 7.30. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I have an explanation, it makes perfect sense. I had to film a Q&A. The Q&A was a girl chat, girl talk, girls hanging out, sipping on some drinks. Um, and I came downstairs and I was like, babe, I'm done with work, let's hang out. And he's like, were you? And I was like, yeah, do you wanna catch up with me? And so we did. And so now it's 7.30, we both realized we have not had dinner and we're gonna cook. And it may be dangerous. Whether or not it is, you're gonna find out because it's gonna happen. So we are going to do some Southern, what are you doing? That has nothing to do with what I'm doing, right? It's cast iron maintenance. <laughs> Parker's having drinks with me, but he is never too sober or not sober enough to maintain his cast iron. <laughs> <laughs> it's his cast iron that he got for his birthday and he's like, just give me a minute, I need to take 
take care of this. I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm drinking, the last thing I think about is the maintenance of my saute pan. So anyway, we're gonna do some southern styled like coated chicken breast and then just saute up some zucchini, which you've seen me done before in previous vlogs. When the kids aren't here, we skip the carbs. We always skip the carbs. It's always just veggie protein. If something is breaded or whatever, that just happens to be your carb, but otherwise, it's always veggie or fruit and the protein. Um, we skip out on the potato or the rice or whatever. So right now we're gonna do some southern style chicken breast and I'm just gonna saute up some zucchini really quick. And that's gonna be our dinner, but it's Sunday at 7.30. The boys come back tomorrow. Parker goes back to work tomorrow. <laughs> Take some leave <laughs> or some ibuprofen. We gotta drink some, some water for sure. Um, but it's been a good day. Parker was able to get a lot of stuff done in the garage. Um, I was able to do all the content that I wanted to film for you guys. So um, a Q&A, um, my favorite YouTube channels to watch, my current favorites, and what was the other thing I filmed? Oh, this sultry, sexual, smoky eye. Um, all of those videos are coming up very soon. They'll probably be up by the time you see this vlog. Um, are all live on my channel. So, but that's it. I mean, that's literally it. That's all we've done today. Um, Parker was really sweet. He stayed in the garage the entire time. He was able to really catch up on just random monotonous stuff he needed to do, but really wasn't important. Um, but we really just want to enjoy the last couple of hours we have to ourselves before the boys come back. So that's exactly what we're going to do. If you guys want to see an updated Q and A, if you want to see this look and all that stuff, I'll try and list all of those videos in the description box below. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the night with my delicious, delectable, sexual, handsome, delicious fiance with this cute flamingo pajama bottoms. Who is he? I'm killing. <laughs> Um, but anything and everything that you guys saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box of this video, um, including the Thrive Market offer. So don't forget, you guys, if you want to support the cause, don't forget they have raised over $400,000 for families in need during this coronavirus pandemic. Um, if you want to check it out, if you've been meaning to try it, there will be a link in the description box below. If you guys want to see Sophia in her adorable ponytail, she is actually in every single one of the videos that I filmed today. Um, everything and everything that you saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box below. And that's all I got for you guys. That and all of this body wash behind me. Y'all, I won the fiance lotto. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys!